So you want to be a YouTuber, huh? I don't know what you were told, but it's not an easy thing. And I know that I will succeed and I will teach you what I know, but it takes time and it takes a lot of hard work. And umra and a amina and a you know a is not going to cut it. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Vivi's View. So we thought we were good at public speaking. Many of us went to school and got good grades with public speaking, but somewhere along the course of our lives, we picked up bad habits. Or sometimes we don't have the bad habits at all. We just get in front of a camera and we get nervous and we start doing a lot of umina, um, uh, you know, business going on, a lot of that going on. And the producer says, you know, this is, and there goes a, you know, the producer says, I cannot work with you. You're giving me too much of arms, uh, you knows. It's costing me more time. This is supposed to be a very fast production. And so you're trying. When you have to do the cutouts for the numerous, uh, as we think, or the, mm hmm, let me see about that, or the, uh, you know, we use these words, they're like clutches, you know, there you go, uh, not clutches, crutches, when you hang on to them, we use these words and they're like crutches, and we hang on to them because we're thinking and another word is not forming in our brains, so we drop you know, we drop the fillers. But if you want to be a good YouTuber, like I'm having to do, I have been praised so much for my public speaking. And it was very surprising for me to come in front of a camera and be told that I am constantly doing arms. Uh, the arms are not so bad. I, I was told about that when I was in college. But, oh boy, do I have a, I have, um, I have a great hang up for, you know. And so I'm going to talk and talk and talk and then I drop, you know, right. So if you want to be a YouTuber, you have to work on listening to yourself speak. It was quite an awakening for me because I do public speaking every day. And if someone had not told me that I was doing all these you knows, because at work you don't get taped. There you go. I almost put another you know in there. I do not get taped at work. I have an audience. They receive me. They ask to speak to me afterwards. And nobody says, oh, you know, you've been doing so much you knows and you knows. So let's try to cut back on the you knows. Work on it like I'm working on mine. And let's consciously think about what we're going to say next. I think that would eradicate this sucker. You know, there you go. It would eradicate the sucker and we'll get along fine. I cannot tell you today what a noisome, annoying, pain in the behind, you know, um, hmm, these filler words are killing me. If you like what I said, give me a thumbs up, make some comments, and hit the subscribe button. Like I said before, if you want to be a YouTuber, all you got to do is jump in, have a lot of heart, and work hard, it doesn't come easy, and try not to use am and a amina and a, a you know and you know. As you see, I did this video just so you could see how many times I stepped out by saying you know. And if I wasn't doing this, I would have never known I was making this mistake. All right? Life is precious. Let's cherish it. It's been a pleasure talking to you. 
would see each other again soon. Y'all come back again now, you hear? <laughs>